Hey guys! Happy Friday! Happy Friday, TGIF! Welcome to Evite IRL. I'm Julian. And I'm Kara. Guys, uh, it is our third episode of Evite IRL. Kara, we've lasted longer than most full time lineups. Can you I believe that? Can you believe it? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Kara, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I just checked Red Bull. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I had like six cups of coffee great. and I feel like I'm in another dimension right now. Right. It's like a caffeine North dimension. Pole. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we have a very North Pole centric kind of vibe here because we've got ugly sweaters on. Mm -hmm. I have this reindeer thing that jingles. I have a Santa's hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Julian, what are we doing today? We are going to be showing you some awesome holiday gifts. So in a minute we're going to be showing you some of the best holiday gifts from LA Parents Award Winning Gift Guide. The National Parenting Product Awards, or NAPA, is one of the nation's longest running and most respected awards programs. And they connect parents and families like yourself with some quality products. How cool is that? Very cool. Who needs to Christmas shop? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if that's not exciting enough, we're going to be giving away a few of these award-winning products. What? Yes. Um, and all you need to do to enter is comment. When we tell you, they'll, they'll be uh, spread out throughout the uh, tables here. So when we tell you this is one of the giveaway toys and products, you comment with that name and you will be entered for your chance to win that product or one of the other selections. Yeah, and it's going to be really awesome. We're going to watch, walk through each product. You'll have the opportunity to know the benefits of it, why you should get it, and if there's something that really sticks out to you that you know your kid is going to love, comment, and you may yeah. win. How cool is that? Yeah. On a normal Friday, you wouldn't be able to win something, but today, with Evite IRL, you are. Yeah. Crazy. Um, so in a few moments, well, we're going to introduce some of the folks from LA Parent and Napa, but first, while you're doing all that holiday shopping, you're probably wondering where all that holiday decor is around your house. So we're going to be showing you one of our latest videos from our video team here in downtown Los Angeles, and uh, it's going to give you some friendly tips for creating holiday decor around your house using everyday family photos. Ooh, take a look. Hey guys, welcome back! Hi everyone! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Christina and Elena here. Um, they're going to be helping us go through all these award winning toys. So tell us a little bit about yourselves. Hi everyone, my name is Christina and I am a MBA student at Pepperdine right now and I work for Napa and LA Parent. Hi everyone, happy holidays. I'm Elena Epstein, I am with LA Parent Magazine and we're very excited to be here. Awesome. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about LA Parent and NAPA and why you guys are here today. All right. So LA Parent is um, a magazine we love. It's been around for 37 years and our goal is really simple, to connect parents with kids and fun. And our, we're always encouraging parents to go out and have fun in this wonderful city we live in. So we cover a lot of fun things to do, activities, as well as parenting issues. We write a lot about education and um, just the growth of your child from one stage to another. So we're, we love our job and we love, we're very excited to be here. That's awesome. Yeah. And then on the Napa side of things, what I'm really doing is testing products to make sure that they are fun and educational and really um, looking for that connection in the product between parents and kids. 
So it's a really fun thing that I get to do to be able to test products. All yeah, day. I was about to say like you guys get to play with toys all day. You yeah. hear that, boss? <laughs> Why can't we do that? Uh, so what's the first toy on our list? So the first toy that we have up is the Beyond Tablet, and this is a really fun tablet-based system that doesn't actually use a screen. So what I really enjoy about this one is that you can set it on a table or the floor. It's good for anywhere between one and four people, so it could really be a family-based activity. And then it essentially uses different um, sheets that you lay on top of the system in order to um, talk about different topics. So there are different um, expansions that you can do based on science, math. This one's one of my favorites. It's the music-based um, tablet attachment. And it allows you to kind of play with keyboards and drums and sounds. It can help with memory retention. And it's a really, really fun product that's really great quality. I liked that one a lot. Yeah, I love that it brings your, the parents together with the kids and, and have an activity that they can all do together. Yeah, I was going to say, like, so many uh, toys nowadays are just, you know, usually the child plays with it by themselves, and mm -hmm. it's just meant to entertain. So anything that can bring everyone together, especially with the holidays, like right around the corner, there's going to be a bunch of people all in one space. This is like a unique opportunity to get everyone together and have like a lot of fun. Yeah, and I like that it was really education and learning based too. That was really important. So I have to ask, going back to you know the work you guys do, what is the process behind choosing these toys? Well, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know you keep rubbing it in my right, face. You guys play with toys. I'm just saying, it's really fun. <laughs> Lots of deliveries. Lots of deliveries. It's always Christmas in our office. Mm -hmm. Products come in, and our team opens up the package, we get to play with them first. <laughs> and then we have a great process of bringing in parents and the most important test are kids. Mm -hmm. We bring them into our office, they take the toys back into their house, so they really get to touch it, feel it, play with it, set it up, and then we get their feedback. Sometimes we watch them play in our own office, we just set up a bunch of things, mm -hmm. and they come in and we see what they gravitate towards, what they played with and then they take some of the products home and then we get the feedback from the parents. The mom saying, wow, this one they couldn't stop playing with mm -hmm. and my older child played with it and my younger child played with it and sometimes it's, eh, it just sat in the corner of the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how we evaluate okay. each and every toy that comes. And are the kids super blunt when it comes to whether they I was just about to ask that. I don't like this. <laughs> they are super blunt. You know, Christina <laughs> works directly with the kids so yeah. they are the best the best judges. Yeah. yeah, they're very straightforward, and you can tell, you know, when a kid really likes a toy, they don't want to gravitate away from it. They're really interested in it. Um, and I think that's important in what we decide is an award-winning toy, is was it really engaging? I think that's so cool because I know like a lot of people tend to think that parents know all and there are of course parents who know what gifts to get and everything but I'm sure there are a lot of parents that have trouble figuring out what gift to get. They're always boggled down by seeing whatever the hottest toy is on TV so the fact that you're able to provide a gift guide of kid and parent approved toys I think is a wonderful idea. Yeah, And we have a question from the audience. Uh, Cynthia Medina V. Eason wants to know, do you link reviews to all the products that you test? Ooh. Ooh. We, yes, they're on NapaAwards.com. Every product that's been tested and awarded, there is a review on it. Yeah, we have another one, yes. Uh, Linda Reichen wants to know, what is the age range for the Beyond tablet? It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that one is suitable for kids between aged 8 and 10, uh, but obviously I'm a little bit older than 10 and I had a lot she of fun. I was, just, I, know, I was just saying, is it suitable for guys 31? Uh, I, I, I think it's suitable for everyone and it's really a family-based activity, so yeah. Nice. Uh, yes. Last question yeah. is, uh, how many gifts should we give our children at Christmas and why? Oh, mm -hmm. oh that's a very, we very get that question a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's such a balance because you want your kids to feel special and it's so exciting to the night before and then yeah. Santa and you mm -hmm. want that house filled. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you want to instill, like for us, what we always say is you want to instill the love of giving at the same time of the love of receiving. So what a lot of our families do, what we encourage is, you know, yes, it's great to get gifts, but it's also like spend this time and select gifts that are really cool that you can take somewhere and donate. Go to your local children's hospital. There's shelters. There's the Ronald McDonald House. These are some of the organizations we donate to. Okay. And some kids don't get Christmas gifts. Some kids have never had a new toy. So this is a great opportunity for your kids 
to pick something amazing or two or three something amazings and you make that part of your holiday tradition. That's great. Nice. Yeah. So what's next? So next up we have one of my favorites. This is the Piper Build It Yourself Computer Kit and this is a really fun um, tech-based product where essentially you can learn the basics of engineering, coding, electronics, and then you actually get your very own computer that you've built and you can use once you're done with it. So it's a really cool product that you can build with your family. It can become an activity you do over several days, um, and it's really educational based, which was cool. And if you're interested in computers or building things, it's an awesome one. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I was totally born in the wrong time. I know. Like, this yeah. is the coolest <laughs> gift that you could pick. Build your own computer, like, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. it is. And don't be intimidated by this because we, one of our parent testers, like, at first they were a little worried, like, oh, I don't know if my kids will be interested. But once they put it out and it became this dad and son's activity, and they sent us pictures of the whole kid in their living room for days, and they were going back to it and building it. And it became this wonderful bonding experience between the dad and the sons. So it's not only do you learn, but it's a really nice activity to do together. Yeah. And which is also great, there's so many initiatives nowadays to get young girls and young boys in work in, working in STEM and working with coding. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you have an opportunity to do that and have a great toy that you can uh, play with your mother and father, uh, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a great introduction to that. Uh, <laughs> I know, we just at the end of the day, we're like, we liked all the gifts. We liked <laughs> um, next up, we have these Hot Wheels toy. Um, it's an AR, right? Augmented? Yes. Augmented yes. reality. Yes. Augmented There's reality. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is also really fun. It kind of takes the Hot Wheels, like you were saying, you know, you're born in the wrong era. Uh, it takes the Hot Wheels that everyone's used to playing with, and it basically takes them and puts them into augmented reality using the tablet-based system that you have here. So each person would press a lever and their car would actually shoot into the Osmo Hot Wheels Mind Racers system and then you're actually racing and playing on the tablet. And so it's a really cool way to kind of have fun with each other and play in a different you know, setting than just the traditional in-person setting. And you can you know, speed up your cars and boost it with little tokens that you have. So it seems like a really fun one and I like that it incorporates augmented reality. That's awesome. That's yeah, very cool. Uh, out of curiosity, um, I, I know we have so many gifts, a lot of them are tech related gifts. Is that where the future of toys is going? Is it more tech based or is it not? Like, where do you see like the toy of the future be? I think we see a lot of tech coming, especially this year. STEM was huge. Um, so that's definitely building robots and building computers and augmented reality is huge. And mm -hmm. that's definitely the wave of the current and future. Mm -hmm. But we also see something else happening in the toy industry, and that's going old school mm -hmm. and more tactile and more just traditional blocks, but maybe different, uh, just the spin on the traditional blocks. Mm -hmm and very creative, um, low-tech things that your kids can then take their imagination to whatever level they want. And that's a big trend that we see as well, mm -hmm. which we applaud. We love items and sources that allow kids to explore their imagination and create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. I love that these uh, also teach you a lot while you're having fun, which is very important when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's like the most formative years of your life, yeah. and it's like we're getting them early. So yeah, great job, guys. Great. Yeah. Um, and next up is very exciting is the uh, Tomo Two One STEM Robotic Kit, and this is one of the giveaway items. <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, just a heads up, Eva, you have the opportunity to win a robot. Yeah, I don't think anyone that's cool. really processed. It's right. really cool. We're going to show you how it works. So this is the Tomo 2-in-1 STEM-based robotics kit. And I am not a robotics master, but I had a lot of fun with this one. It was very easy to build and put together. It was a very cool project. Um, the tester that we had do it, we sat together and it was very quiet and then all of a sudden we got it to work and we both were like, yay, we did it! Yeah, it was so really exciting in the office. It was very we exciting. We suddenly heard the cheers. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So the way that it works is it works through Bluetooth and it connects to an application on your phone. So I have my app open on my phone and we're going to see if I can make Tomo move a little bit. Let's see. He's pairing. So it's Bluetooth connected. Yeah, so it's basically connecting to the Bluetooth. So it works with pretty much any smartphone? Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Very peculiar about yes. the robot. Please save the robot. Yeah, yeah. But he's really cool and he's actually pretty durable. When I was, you know, playing with him, I was bumping him into the walls and stuff, and it's very responsive. And I like how easy it was to use. The controls are very basic. So awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a question from the audience. Margo would like to know the age for this robot. Oh, what is the age? Yeah, for this robot? I believe this one is suitable for kids. Uh, 8 to 99, it says. Oh, okay. Again, it can be suitable for anyone. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. So, yes, if you would like to uh, enter for a chance to win this product, comment with the name. It's the Tomo uh, STEM Robotic Kit. Uh, and I'm told we have another question from the audience. Kathleen wants to know Does this robot do laundry in the dishes? <laughs> I, know, right? I wish it did. Yes. I put the, question, the question was if. Uh, does laundry and the dishes, it does not, but I think if you put a cup holder on it, it could bring you coffee. I know. <laughs> I say we try yeah. it. <laughs> I'm thinking further, I'm like, can this thing do my deduction on my taxes? <laughs> I'm like, does it handle 1099s? That's what I want to know if this robot does. Um, that's so cool. I think the best part, it does look complicated. It's yeah. not at all. No. But even then, it's another great activity that a parent and a child can do with one another, mm -hmm. which I think is great. I know growing up, some of my favorite things to do was build something with my father or my mother. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you have that opportunity, it's a great bonding experience, and it's a great like an education experience. I love it. Yeah. And once you get it going, it is very exciting. Like the whole yeah. office was, Tomo was coming down the hall. We're like, oh, look yeah. at that. <laughs> there comes Tomo. So it yeah. is, once you get it going, it's really exciting. Tomo just becomes a Part member of the, of the office. They're yeah. hanging out by the water cooler, <laughs> gossiping. <laughs> uh, so what's next? We've All right, so now we have, we've done great tech stuff. We're going a little low tech, but if you have little ones, mm -hmm. you know that little ones love to build mm -hmm. towers. And once they build the tower, the next thing that they love to do is destroy the tower. Mm -hmm. So this makes it really easy for them to do because the blocks are super soft and they're not going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. And stack it up any way you want, your imagination, take it wherever you want, and when it's built, you jump on this and you watch it fall apart. Whoa. So give it a try. Do you guys want to see this? You guys, I think yeah. they do. I don't know. Do you guys want to see this? <laughs> 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 All right, who's going to be here? It's going to be me or you. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. Three. Okay. Two. Wait, hold on. Start okay. from three. Okay. 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 You, you rushed me. Okay. okay. Three. Again, you, you're rushing. Okay. Five. I'm kidding. Five. Okay. Four. Four. of so many things in my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, what's, the, what's the age range on this? This is, again, 99 of any, any age. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I feel like except 31-year-old males can enjoy This does not work. Um, I'm sorry, I ruined the toy. I apologize. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's great, though, because I like that it's soft, so if it does fall, the kids don't get hurt or anything. I remember growing up, I had the like, wooden mm -hmm. ones, and mm -hmm. I have a couple scars. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's great. And I think also for me, the best part is I grew up playing a lot of Lincoln Logs, mm -hmm. and they have such a structure to them. Mm -hmm. And I feel with this, like you basically let a kid's imagination run wild; they can do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah. yeah which awesome. is great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And again, you can build it together. When we were testing this, it was a four-year-old and. Uh, one year old was also in the room and that was a great thing. We knew when this exploded it wasn't gonna hurt mm -hmm. anybody because he really loved jumping on this over <laughs> and over <laughs> and over, <laughs> over again, yeah. and we weren't worried about the other yeah. little girl there. So yeah, this one you build, you destroy, you start over. And out of curiosity, <laughs> did a four year old and one year old uh, were they able to do it successfully? Yes, the one-year-old, you know, wanted to eat a little bit of it, but <laughs> other than that... <laughs> so it's just me, everyone. I just wanted to call that out. Uh, so let's move forward to the next one, huh? Yeah, so this one is another one of my favorites. This one is the Calm Down Companion, and this one is the Tranquil Teddy. There's also a dog that is a different type of Calm Down Companion you can have. So the basics of this toy are that it has an orb in the center and you can actually light it up by pressing a button on its back. 
and then you shake its belly and you can see the inside has a lot of glitter moving around. And the idea behind it is that if your child's feeling a bit overwhelmed or stressed, they can shake this up and have a little bit of quiet time and watch the glitter settle. So once that's done, then they have the opportunity to take out their journal and they can actually talk about their feelings and maybe get to the bottom of why they might have been upset or what might have been bothering them. So this one's a really great one. It's also super soft and cuddly. Yeah, making toys and saving lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one's a good one. Um, so I, I know I'm a big fan of this person because I know so many toys are all about like just getting as energetic and yes. as crazy as possible. And actually have something that allows someone to like be mindful of their, themselves and their feelings is really, really cool. Yeah, especially for, for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not one's suitable for kids age two and up, so it's a good one. So we can get this. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so what's next? Awesome. All right. Wow. Which, yeah. This is another one of my favorites that you have to try. Yeah. Okay, so I'm please excited. So please come, yeah, hopefully I'll come on right. down. Right. Go ahead, Julian. All right. We love musical toys. Remember Julian? <laughs> Drum and Julian. these drums are fabulous. I will. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> That's it. I'm a musician now. Take that, Evite. I'm out of here. I'm kidding. Pierre, go ahead. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Pierre and I just got our own uh, music group. <laughs> Yeah, so Let's tell us. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the night, it's In like, the, the, yeah, this drum set keeps telling me to jam. <laughs> <laughs> what we loved about this one is A, it's super cute yeah. and it's musical. And we noticed when the kids came and played with it, it was one of those things that they never, they didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. They kept coming back to it. And we heard from the parents afterwards that it continued on for days after. And they're still like, it's one of those things that they love. Yeah. And we saw how their face, when they took the drums and they were making music, yeah. their face told the whole thing. Wow. We're like, it's a winner. Sure. It's a winner. Yeah. So what is the age for this? Yeah. For this one, I believe it's 18 months and up. OK. And, yeah. what, and what was the name of this one? That is the Zoo Jams drum set. Zoo OK, cool. Oh, I love that it's an elephant, too. And so I, you can't tell. I'll turn it around. The back here is the. The kick, the kick, the kick the, drum, the, the pedal, the kick pedal, drum, the <laughs> face pedal. Face pedal. Face pedal. Face pedal. Face I know. <laughs> None of these people. We are, are not music. musicians. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like that the nose moves. Yeah, and it's super cute. It comes with a little seat that they can sit on. It's adorable. It's and it cute. is one of those things that, again, if you have different age kids, mm -hmm. they will enjoy it. You know, we had a one and a half year old enjoy it. We had a four year old, even the six year old. You know, yeah. was still coming back. It's a little big to sit on him, but yeah. he was interested in it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, and we have a question from the audience. Cynthia would like to know: Is that toy how durable is the toy? How durable is the toy? You know, they jammed pretty hard on this, yeah. so <laughs> I say it's pretty durable. <laughs> we'll have to uh, rage later, and we'll yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys go to show us. We'll do a, dur we'll do a durability <laughs> test. <Yeah. laughs> Um, so the next thing is something we are really excited yes. about and we know you guys are excited about too. It's the two American Girl Dolls. Yes. So what can you tell us about these? Yes, one of the, you asked about trends in toys and as I mentioned, um, you know, tech and also low tech, but another trend that we're really excited about is diversity in toys and celebrating diversity. And American Girl has done a great job this year at celebrating diversity. They introduced Logan, which is the very first boy doll. And the reason they did it was they listened to the parents and the kids who have been asking for a boy doll mm -hmm. for several years. And, and this year, 2017, Logan is part of the American Girl family. And it's, it's a wonderful way to round up um, what kids, when I was a kid, I loved dolls. Mm -hmm. But dolls didn't always look like me. They looked one way. And our, my daughters don't have that issue. They have dolls that look all variety of ways because that's what the world is. And that's a beautiful thing to celebrate. Yeah. I feel like that's worth applauding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you uh, can enter for a chance to win Logan. So if you comment, uh, you may win Logan. 
And the other American doll girl that we have here uh, is is Linnea. 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 I didn't want to butcher her name. She is, again, another beautiful example of celebrating diversity, which we want our kids to know from as early as an age as possible. She's from Hawaii. She celebrates her culture, and she comes with a book that talks about her culture and the culture and how much her family and how she gives back to the community. Another wonderful story to illustrate to all of our kids that they can make a difference in the world from a very early age and these dolls give them a good example of that. That's amazing. And you can also win Nanea uh, if you comment. So uh, enter for your chance to win one of these amazing dolls. I know uh, before you guys came in, Pierre and I were chatting and we it's one of the reasons why we were so excited that you guys visited us today is, you know, Evite's mission is bringing people together from all walks of life to celebrate moments, big and small, you know, the everyday moments. And so it's really cool that you guys have a similar mes message of inclusiveness and diversity, and I know that's something that we really cherish as well. Absolutely. And, you know, one thing as parents out there watching, and I'm, I'm a mom, and one thing I think, it's exactly that. It's the small moments. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to remember. That's what your kids will remember. That when you all sat in the living room and you played the drums mm -hmm. and you made the blocks and or you filled that you, you couldn't blow up the blocks. You couldn't do it. <laughs> or you got home already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It it's is, yes. those moments. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our job is to create beautiful memories for kids, dark kids, beautiful childhood memories. That's what's going to keep them going. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about the toy. It's about that time that you spend with your kids. It's awesome. I love it. I love it too. So yeah. what's next? All right. So what's next is a really cool product yeah. uh, where you can make your own comic book. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Illo Story Create Your Own Comic Book as well as they have a Create Your Own Storybook. And when I was growing up, I really loved making my own books and my own comics. And so this basically takes that idea and allows you to walk through the entire process of what it would be like to make your own story with storyboarding, the whole um, process of writing something out, you know, is there a rising action, a falling action, and then afterwards when you're done, you actually ship off your work that you did potentially with your child as an activity together, and they send you back a hard copy of your book. That Whoa, you made. that's cool. Yeah. So it's awesome, it's really inspiring and creativity based, and then you actually have a tangible product that you can keep forever, and so it's, this is a really fun one. Very cool. And so what's the name of this again? This is the Illu Story Create Your Own Comic Book and Create Your Own Storybook. Gotcha. I think it's so cool because I know I used to draw a lot when I was a kid and you always put everything up on the fridge, but you actually get something back that it looks like a professional took time doing, Yes. which they did, and yeah. so you feel like so validated for your creativity. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to go on your bookshelf with all of your other books, and mm -hmm. it's something you can keep forever. Yeah. It's awesome. Amazing. Such a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're moving down here. To the tricycle. Yes. Uh, Tech trike. Uh, yes, this is also a giveaway. So Woo! Giveaway! I don't know if you have watched uh, Evite's Instagram story from the last 24 hours, but I rode this tricycle <laughs> all over the office yesterday, so it is a sturdy product. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's really cool. Um, so can you tell us about this product? Absolutely. This is a great four-in-one, and that's one of the reasons we like this so much, is that if you have a little one, you can, they can sit in there with the nice shade, and you can push them around the neighborhood at the park, and then as they grow, this easily comes up, this easily comes up, and this becomes a regular trike. So, Yay, oh yes. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> It makes sense. It does turn the wheel. Okay, so, so and it teaches kids how to drive, basically. Left, <laughs> right, and <laughs> my favorite as a New Yorker. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was I was honking all around the office yesterday. So. <laughs> um, so can you tell us again the name of this product? Yes, this is the VTech Four in One Stroll and Grow Tech Trike. Grow and grow tech chunk. It's a little bit of a mouthful. Too. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so if you would like to, to enter for your chance to win this, just comment, uh, and you'll be entered to win this uh, awesome product that you as a parent could potentially ride in, too. So, yeah. Absolutely. We had a four-year-old who 
was doing spins in their backyard. Yeah. So. Also, that kid is going to be looking so bougie. I know. There's a shade, they're going to have lemonade. The kid's going to be rolling in style. Absolutely. He's got to look good. I know. Okay. I'm totally not helping Pierre move stuff at all. I'm so sorry, Pierre. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? So this one is the Urban Playset from Ready Sets, and I really like this one because it's basically a structure that kids can play with that is one recyclable, it's made from a paper product, as well as everything kind of latches together and it uses magnets to hold itself up, and then it actually folds completely flat when you're done with it. So as opposed to a lot of other um, products out there that are really big and bulky, like this one, those ones don't fold up. So this is a really cool one, as well as I like the fact that you can use any kind of toy with it. So it's really open to your child's creativity and however they want to play with it. And yeah. I, I feel like putting on a miniature version of West Side Story yeah. right now. Yes, <laughs> it's very like that. Great, yeah. Yes. It's really cool. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the name of the product again? It's the Urban Playset from Ready Sets. Nice. Very nice. Um, and our last product that we have here, um, I will adjust because it is uh, expandable over here. What is the name of this product? This one was, it had a, wait, four, it's now, um, I had it on the sheet, the... Simplet? Yes. Simplet, yeah. Simplet. Simplet, yeah. And it's the activity set. Activity table, that's right. The in and out activity table, sorry. Because it goes from in to out. Nice. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, uh, right. and a lot of toys, folks. Yeah, yeah we, like, review 600, over 600 toys. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. But this is a great one in the fact that it does exactly what you just demonstrated. It can, it can be inside your house, it can be outside your house, and it comes in a box exactly like that. So it's super easy to put together. You literally click them together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it can become smaller, it can become bigger. You can put water in it, you can put sand in it, you can put cups in it, you can have snacks. You can uh, do Play-Doh, blocks. It's just one of those products that you'll use mm -hmm for a long time. It will definitely grow with your kids and it'll be it's one of those things that'll just be a part of your play environment. Mm -hmm. It's really versatile so they can kind of use it any way that they want. And I like that it can go inside and out. Yeah, I just think it's great because, you know, kids have so many toys that a lot of times parents really struggle with trying to find um, a place to store everything. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that it doubles not only as a, a play area, but the opportunity for parents to store, have more storage space, I think it's wonderful. Yes, that's great. Yes, so that was the in and out activity set from SimPlay 3. So we have, again, how many toys are we giving away today, Pierre? Four. And what are the toys again? Okay, so if you would like to win the Tomo 2-in-1 STEM robot kit, please comment. Um, for your chance to win, it's Bluetooth activated. You saw how fast it can go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're um, good at driving it. Yes. <laughs> um, we're also giving away the Logan uh, doll uh, from American Girl. The first ever boy doll. Uh, we're also giving away Nenea. Yeah. <laughs> and the tricycle. Uh, what was the, the name again? Four in one stroll and grow tech trike from the, Tech. Yes, the four in one <laughs> tricycle, very sturdy uh, tricycle there. So comment with which one you would like to win for your chance to, to win it. And while we're waiting for any uh, last minute questions from our audience, I, I know that uh, I had a question, Pierre and I had a question for you guys. Um, obviously there's a lot of parents who are thinking about gifts right now, they don't know what to get. And a lot of them may be just a little afraid of not getting the right gift. And we divide are really um, for empowering people, you know, to throw parties and to celebrate moments. So what can you recommend to a parent who may not know what gift to get? Yeah, I would really try and focus on quality over quantity, um, as well as think about the way that your kid plays potentially and maybe using that in driving their inspiration and their creativity into the product that you potentially get them or the experience for that matter. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and I think, think about, gravitate towards things that you can do together as a family. I think those moments that you spend together in your living room, on your kitchen table, those are the greatest moments. So definitely, instead of getting a bunch of stuff that they're only gonna play by themselves somewhere, 
go for one or two really cool things that you could do together and play together, or the cousins can come over and play and the friends can do. Make it a social activity. Nice. Great. We have questions. Yes. Good question from YouTube. What kind of app do you need for the Tomo robot? Uh, what kind of app do you need for the Tomo robot is the question. Yeah, it's a ODEV active app. It's basically just connected to Tomo. So it's their own, it's Tenergy's own application that you would use. And does that say it in the yes. instructions? Yes, right? it's in the instructions. It was very easy to download. Perfect. Do we have any questions from Facebook? Yes, uh, there's a lot of questions about your sweaters. Where did you <laughs> <laughs> the questions are, where did we get our amazing sweaters? Yeah. Well, so Pierre and I agreed that we were going to be doing ugly Christmas sweaters. So she went and bought this one, and then of course I just happened to have an ugly Christmas sweater with pizza, donuts, and ice cream on it. Yeah. And she bought one with cats, and it occurred to us that we had, we both wanted each other's sweaters. Yeah. So. so I got this at Target. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know if we can say the brand. So we'll just say something that rhymes with Margaret. Margaret, yes. <laughs> I was, mine is from the same place. Yours is from, from Margaret? Margaret? Margaret, yes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Where is this one from? Uh, that one is from Julian's Closet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I am not sure where my family got me this lovely <laughs> Um but it jingles as I walk, and um, it has legs. So, <laughs> there we go. Can you tell them the funny story of when you were walking around the office? Yes, as I was walking through the office before we got started, I didn't want to disturb everyone, so I was holding all of the little jingle bells as I walked. <laughs> um, any more questions? Any questions anymore? We're all set. So again, please yeah. leave um, a comment letting us know which gift um, you want to receive, and you'll be entered into a chance to win something. Yeah, so you have until Sunday to, to enter, so share with all your friends, your family, you know, nudge some people on what your kid would like to win. Uh, so yeah, good luck to everyone who enters. And can we give a big round of applause to you two? Yeah. For those of you uh, who want to know a little bit more about LA Parent and Napa, um, uh, here on the screen is um, their URLs where you can go. And um, we'll have that in just a moment. So if you have any questions about gift ideas or any kind of toys, visit these two websites and um, is there anything else you both would like to say before you go? Uh, to the parents out there, I think enjoy this time with your kids. These, these are your good old days, so enjoy it. There, I know the house is messy and it's a lot of work, but there is no greater time than right now. So enjoy that. Nice. Yeah, everyone really take time to spend with your family. It's a really great time to be together. I'm really excited for the holidays. Nice. Nice. Well, Pierre, we did it. Episode yes. 3 is done. Yes. <laughs> When's our next episode? Uh, December 15th. Yes. Yes, at um, 10 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, so don't be thinking you're going over here with Greenwich time. This no. is Pacific Standard Time for our next broadcast. 1 p.m. Eastern Time. 1 p.m. Eastern Time, yes. exactly. And um, if you want to find us online, a bunch of our URLs are about to pop up on the screen. So visit us. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. We want to be friends with you. Tell us about all the parties you throw. Um, tell us how you celebrate those moments big and small. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay.